Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower 2. When we last left off, we were about to go into the bedroom. So let's go do that. Oh, yeah, first... First we need to dump off the amulet. So there, we go put that there. Because we need a little bit extra grunt for this part. So let's go see uh, the old lady. Now, I don't know how long this part's going to... Catherine, that's Stop, it. Please. Very convincing uh, acting there. Stunning, stunning stuff. The stuff of legends. Oh shit, we need the key to actually open the door, don't we? Yes. The key to open the door might actually help us in this particular situation. Excelente. Now. <laughs> so weird the way it shows us uh, going through the door twice. Oh crap! <laughs> but Catherine, run! Oh, I Hurry, love it. run! The beast is awakening! Oh, don't come out! <laughs> Hurry up, old lady! Get the hell out of here! <laughs> I love that. Get the hell out of here! I'll kill her mm. next time. Why next time? Why next time? Kill her now. Be done with it. Like, it'd be so much easier. <sighs> I appreciate they were going for, like, a badass a character with them. Monster. But it... Yeah, it just... The voice acting's so bad, it just undermines it. Alright, let's lock this feckin' door up. That wasn't easy. Mm-hmm. Right, let's um, have a little look in here. Oh, no, we can't go in there yet, can we? Nah, not yet. Okay. Right, let's leave the little bitch to a locked room. How she gets out of there, I have no idea, but there we go. Right, let's go check out the storage, because there's an item here that we need, and we need to go see how Catherine's doing. I'm sure she's alright. She had a rough day, but uh, right, let's get some light in here first. There we go. You alright there, cat? You, uh... Okay. Not sure what... Oh, right. Yes. We need to get our uh, amulet back. Because otherwise we can't talk to her. Aha! We are through the looking glass. Uh, yes, we shall pick up the damn amulet. Well, thank you. Let's go back. Because, of course, for some reason we can't talk to her as bait. Like, you don't even just get a different dialogue. You just straight up can't talk to her as bait. Now we can. Hey, cat. What appears to be your boggle? What has happened to Stephanie? And Ashley? What happened here? Tell me, Aunt Catherine. Hmm. Curse. The, the curse. curse is what's causing this to happen. Is it now? Curse? Well, we're not going to worry about the curse too much right now. Let's go get some juice. And the uh, the phone's Kerosene going again. Heater still works. But we don't need to play with that. Right, give me that. We have some fuel. Excelente. Let's get out of here. So we've got fuel. We just need the statue. And we need a lighting implement of destruction. So, let's go back. Upstairs. Go back into the third bedroom. And go check on the uh, the statue because ah oh, shit. Well, it looks like we're gonna sit here for a while and wait for our friend Samurai to piss off. God damn it! I like filling and padding out episodes as much as the next guy, but come on, this is ridiculous. So, 
It's still not 100% sure why um, Stephanie is possessed. I mean, it's safe to assume that it's the amulet doing it. But, I don't know, it's just weird the fact that they're pulling this whole mutant virus into it. This whole bacteria stuff. Like... Where where's that gonna line up with the original Maxwell curse from the games? I don't know. Is that gonna line up at all, or is it just gonna be bullshit? I guess we're gonna find out. Hey, he's gone. Cool. Right, let's go back to the third bedroom, uh, which is the one directly in front of us. Ah, so there it is. Statue is still there. But we can't pick it up yet, can we? Because if we touch it, we get zapped. I can't touch it. But why? I don't know. I don't know. Have we done something wrong? Because I'm sure the statue's not supposed to be there. Let me check. Ooh. Yeah, there is one thing that we haven't done, actually. That I kind of completely forgot about. And I hope that hasn't just fucked everything up. But it shouldn't have. We need to go back into the room that we fought Stephanie in. <laughs> ah, bollocks. God damn it! Um, I don't know what we can. The door is locked. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm guessing there's something in here that we might be able to slap her over the head with. I think there was. There's like a big pan. Right, let's turn the light on. Like so. Thank you. Yes, we can use the pan. I remember. Get a load of this bitch. Bit of cast iron to the bonds. How? Sleep tight, you little bitch. Sleep tight. Now we can use the key again. There we go. All right. Still not sure why there's zombie limbs everywhere. Like there appears to be a hell of a lot going on in this story, but there's no storytelling to fill it in. Or at least very little, anyway. Let's read this. Letter? Mm-hmm. From Mr. Alan Hale. It's from my father. It's postmarked 16 years ago. Oh. Egads, that's convenient, finding that now, then. That you I sent belongs to the Maxwell family. Ultimately, it was only a statue and probably has nothing to do with the Maxwell's magic powers. Magic powers. There is probably nothing to the curse either. For now, anyway, I'm giving you the statue. Hmm. Statue? Not the statue in Stephanie's room. I guess the very same. So, let's go back to Stephanie's room. Actually, was there something in here? We can't even remember, to be honest. Everything's normal. Okay, I actually thought there was something in there, but I guess not. Fair the do's, says I. All right, so let's go back. Ah, uh, oh, okay, it's just you. Fuck. Thought that was Stephanie then. So, like, I mean, is that just like an animated bit of armor, or is there like is someone actually in there? Ah, uh, because that would be magical. 
unless it actually was someone in there. But it doesn't elaborate. Whether everything comes together at the end, I don't know. But for now, much confused wow. Ah, now the statue's gone. That's what we wanted. It's gone. It has. The statue, where did it go? Right, so now we can go back down. My bloody back's killing me. Now we can go back down. Oh, that's better. Now, our good friend, Uncle, should be down here waiting for us. If we've done everything right. Yes. Hey, Philip. He looks like a Philip as well, doesn't he? Uncle Philip? With that tash. Oh, it's all because of that Maxwell curse. What the hell are you talking about, old man? Maxwell curse? Well, he gives us a key. Pretty sure he skipped some dialogue there as well. Alright, well, anyway, let's use the key and follow along. Hopefully he's not... Ah, bollocks. No, that's fine. That's actually fine. Corridor key. At least that armor is very slow. Not really sure why you'd find uh, a very Asian-looking house in this part of the States with uh, some actual... Um, armor. Some Japanese armor. Or Shogun armor, I guess. It's kind of strange. With a very Japanese interior style as well. Huh. It is almost as if this game was meant to be set in Japan. And they changed it uh, for a Western release for reasons. They used to do stupid things like that um, back in the PlayStation era. I don't know why suddenly my sofa is so uncomfortable, but there we go. Lots of back problems recently. Perks of the job, I suppose. Right. So this place is looking rather swanky, McSwank. These books, they all look so difficult. Difficult to read? Huh. Well, I suppose she's only supposed to be a young kid. If you can hear any like weird snoring or anything, my cat is literally just below the microphone. Hey, Philip, what are you holding there, buddy? What you got there, you big lug? Anything for me to have a look at? Cloud, can you like stop slurping and snoring and whatever the hell you're doing? Cloud, look, come here. You're, look, you're a pain. You're such a pain. You know that, don't you? You're the bane of my existence. Now, let's go talk to F Unky Philip. Hey, Unky. What you doing, buddy? This is the statue. Everything started after Stefan. He found it in the closet. Indeed. That statue? Curse is true. That's why you're possessed. Or... Or... Uh oh. I've Boy. been cursed too? That's a rather murderous look in your eye, Philip. You know, don't you? Anyone involved with the Maxwell family. Oh, oh, here we go. Uncle Bad Touch is getting a little bit hands on. Not really sure why he spacks out there and uh, goes on a murderous rampage, but hey ho. Now, this is the weird bit. We actually have to leave this room. So strange. Got to leave this room. Only to then go back into the room. So, Philip has changed positions for reasons. Reasons unknown. Yes, he's actually in here. Now we have to have a little chat with him. He's come back to his senses. Bless him. Burn it! The statue! Burn, Burn it. it! Burn it all! Uncle Philip! The statue! Hurry! Burn it! Yes. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Not really sure how burning a 
gold statue. It's gonna make much difference, but burn the statue. Yes, that's what he said. Burn the statue like seventeen thousand times. One would assume that we're now gonna trust this uncle who's just tried to horrifically murder us for reasons. I hope they're good reasons, you know. Never really goes into it, to be honest. Probably good reasons. What are we on? 15 minutes. It's going to be a bit of a short episode. Oh, hello. Nice to see you there, buddy. Just having a bit of a wander. That's fine. You can wander around all you like, my friend. Right, let's fry this statue. Uh-oh. Look at all these rifles. Look, look, there's a play great good rifle on the wall there. Get that sucker. I must burn the statue. Yes, we must. Stop talking about it and start doing it. There we go. Statue. In it goes. Don't know where she gets that from, but we're not gonna we're not gonna split hairs. And I have no idea where she just produces this ammo crate looking thing. Oh god. I'm going to kill you. No, I don't think you are actually. Just give up. Oh. Gone into hard ass mode. Get up, bitch. Hey, little shit. What good is it gonna do to burn that? Ooh. That's actually quite quite cool that bit. That's the way I do it. Indeed. So, we need to grab the amulet because Bates doesn't want to burn the statue. And uh, if we do stand there, she's going to get back up and stab amulet. us to death. Protect me! Oh, we're protected. Don't worry. <laughs> now, burn it! Burn it all! Good thing there's fuel in that lighter. Boom! Highly flammable stuff. See, we definitely exercise Stephanie. some I'm kind sorry. of demon from her. And then we pass out as well. Now, is that due to the f due to the um, what do you call it? The amulet? Not the amulet. The uh, statue? I don't know. So, up until this point, we should have done everything correctly. Oh. You okay? Alex Corey, Monterey County Police. Don't have to talk. Place? Memorial Hospital. I got a call from Tate's wife. When I went inside... I found you and a girl laying on the floor. I carried you out here. Hmm. I see. Stephanie, how is she? She was badly injured, but she'll be okay. She's not going to die. Well, that's something. <laughs> oh, my. What was that? Here we go. Chapter two: Noisy Monsters Cage. Like what? Like what does that even fucking mean? What does that even fucking mean? Seriously. Um. Right. Anyway, guys, I'm actually gonna end this here. I know we're only on like literally 20 minutes, really, but that was. <sighs> well, I'm. Just, should I? Should we just say I'm glad? We're done with that. Now, this is a strange chapter because you can't really influence um, any of the game through this chapter. So, if we actually have a little look. Or maybe we can actually, yeah. Yeah, so we can actually influence a couple of the endings.
Yeah, there's only one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we can influence the next level, uh, the next part, but it doesn't really affect the game apart from. There's a bit where we have to answer no to Bowman. I think it's Bowman, yeah. And if we answer yes to him, um, he will die. And you can find you can find his body parts littered around the rooms. The drawback is we won't be able to get ending C, and obviously we can't do that because we want to get all the endings. But we should be on track. I mean, really, realistically speaking, we don't actually have to record this part of the game again. Or I don't have to record this part of the game again. However, I have to play through it again anyway, so we might as well. It's not actually a very long section, to be honest. Yeah, so we're probably going to record it anyway. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to end this uh, video here. So we've finally done, like, one of the hardest parts of the game anyway so yeah, this bit's kind of very linear more or less but i'm really not looking forward to the third chapter oh god god if you see how cryptic and how big it is that's what she said hopefully it's not going to be that bad kind of like the first chapter because the first chapter seemed quite complicated on this but actually once you've been through it a few times it's really not so, um, I mean, this this bit shouldn't be too hard. I might reference the guide. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what to do in this bit. But I might reference the guide just to make it quicker. Because otherwise I might stumble around a little bit. But we're going to have to have full guide assist on the third chapter. Hmm. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.